Hello everyone, welcome back and today's video is for those privacy conscious users that want to maximize security and privacy using the Tor browser. While you may think that the Tor browser is enough to keep your data anonymized, which for the most part it does, the problem is without a VPN you're using your real IP address as your entry to the Tor browser which can be tracked down, especially if you're in censorship heavy countries where they actively crack down on users attempting to bypass censorship. Now, before I get into this, just keep in mind that links to pricing and discounts to all the VPNs mentioned can be found in the description below. So feel free to take advantage of those if you're interested. Now, Tor, originally called the Onion Router, because it layers your traffic like an onion, is a free network of servers or nodes that randomly route internet traffic between each other in order to obfuscate the origin of the data. The Tor browser can significantly increase a user's privacy and anonymity online. Journalists and their sources rely on it to communicate securely and anonymously without fear of government interference. Tor currently has about 2 million daily users worldwide, most of them originating from the United States, Germany and Russia. Similar to a VPN, you can use Tor to hide your IP address and anonymize your internet traffic. Using the Tor browser also allows you to access the dark web and run a hidden service anonymously. Generally, the Tor browser will not anonymize all of your web traffic, which is why it is commonly run alongside a VPN. Tor can be very useful for censored journalists and whistleblowers. SecureDrop is one example of a software that makes it easier for individuals to safely leak information over the Tor browser. There are at least three stages in which your data travels through when using Tor. The entry node, which inevitably knows your IP address, the middle node, which prevents the exit node from finding out which entry node you used and makes it very hard to correlate this information, and the exit node, which knows what site you are connecting to but does not know who you are. Now, using a VPN will prevent the entry node from knowing your real IP address. Using a VPN with Tor will also prevent your ISP from finding out that you're a Tor user. And keep in mind that Tor will only obfuscate your browser activity and not the rest of your network or applications. Connecting to a VPN first, then Tor gets you all the privacy protection of the Tor network, plus added protection that prevents any Tor node from seeing your real home IP address. Of course, if you're concerned with privacy and anonymity, you'll want to use a VPN that provides you with solid security features, a no logs policy, and proper functionality and obfuscation within censorship heavy countries like China and Turkey. So today I have three VPN recommendations that check all three requirements for being some of the most versatile, consistent and reliable VPNs in the market, especially within censorship heavy countries. Those will be ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark. I'll give you guys a brief on these leading VPNs in terms of security and privacy policies, but also do keep in mind that you'll find full on in depth reviews of each one of them in the description below. So if you'd like to find all about the little nuances of each VPN, be sure to check those out as well. The first choice will be ExpressVPN, which is what I personally use. Express will specifically be of interest to those that want to use a VPN with the most sophisticated and advanced network security structure. Express's no logs policy has been put to the test by multiple independent audits, and the real test being the seizing of one of their servers by the Turkish government as part of an investigation of a case of assassination. And despite their server getting compromised, the Turkish authorities were not able to extract any information out of the server due to how little information is kept on Express's servers about the user's activity. And by default, all the activity on ExpressVPN is automatically obfuscated. Express also uses perfect forward secrecy, which adds another layer of encryption by automatically creating a new encryption key for every session and then replacing it every 60 minutes. Furthermore, Express is one of the first providers to upgrade their servers to RAM servers from the less secure hard drive based servers, which basically means that there is no physical hard drive for information to be stored in within any of these servers. Whatever information is left on such servers will be erased with every machine reboot or whenever the company does maintenance, which is fairly often. 
Express also has an Onion website for those living in highly restrictive countries. Express has basic but reliable security features such as a kill switch, split tunneling, and a good selection of protocols supported by strong encryption and ciphers. Express has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries and supports up to 5 simultaneous connections per subscription. The second option will be NordVPN. Nord has a strict no logs policy, and there's really no evidence to suggest otherwise. And despite the breach in 2018, no information was compromised. And since then, I've confirmed with support that all of their standard servers have been upgraded to become diskless or RAM based servers. And these servers allow Nord to create a centrally controlled network where nothing is stored locally, and they don't even have an operating system stored locally. Everything they need to run is provided by NordVPN's secure central infrastructure, so if one of these servers were to be seized, it will essentially be an empty piece of hardware with no data or configuration files on it. Nord had its no logs privacy policy audited by PricewaterhouseCoopers once in 2018, right after the breach, and another time in 2020. Both audits successfully verified Nord's no log policy and confirmed their privacy claims. Nord is quite a bit packed with features, which includes four types of specialty servers. One type of servers is called the Onion over VPN servers, which will let you access the Onion network without actually using or having to download the Tor browser. An app kill switch on top of the regular kill switch, split tunneling, custom DNS, and the speedy WireGuard protocol Nord Lynx. Nord has over 5,400 servers in 59 countries and will let users secure up to six devices per subscription. The final option on this list will be Surfshark, which will offer the most affordable long-term plan without sacrificing on value. Surfshark has a solid no logs policy as well as perfect forward secrecy. In addition to basic security features such as the kill switch, split tunneling, static IP servers, and multi-hop, also known as double VPN, which routes your connection through two IP addresses rather than one for extra security at the cost of slower speeds. And you have a handful of protocols available, including a WireGuard and ShadowSox protocol. Surfshark also started operating on diskless servers as of July 2020, which is why it's on this list. Now, one criticism you could direct at Surfshark is that the audit was only allowed to examine their browser extensions. While the audit concluded that Surfshark are not exposed to any major issue, hopefully we'll see an audit that examines the entire application very soon. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, which is a good balance between Express and Nord. And maybe the most attractive feature about Surfshark besides solid features and security is the fact that unlike Nord and Express, it actually allows users to secure an unlimited number of devices with only one subscription. And it really turns out to be such an efficient and budget friendly way of securing every device you have at home. So before I conclude, there are other nuances to these VPNs, as I said before, regarding speed, streaming and torrenting support, and privacy policies. So before you make a decision, I would recommend checking out the individual reviews, which you'll find linked in the description below. Also be sure to include links to pricing and discounts, so be sure to keep an eye out for those as well. But if you want a quick conclusion on these three, I would recommend Express as the overall best pick. It has the most consistent speeds high-grade security and very reliable features and streaming capabilities. Nord will offer the most amount of features and exceptional speeds with Nord Lynx and will let you secure one more device at a very reasonable price. And Surfshark will get the job done at the lowest possible cost without compromising on features or reliability. And of course, it secures an unlimited amount of devices, which is a lot of value for the pricing. Not to mention that all these VPNs are also very able to operate within censorship heavy countries like China, Turkey, or the UAE. And that concludes today's video. Like the video if you learned something new and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date and further support the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. I'd be interested in knowing what you guys may use the Onion browser for. Is it just anonymity? Is it the dark web? Are you perhaps a censored journalist? Unless you want to keep it a secret, in which case you can just comment which of these VPNs you feel most comfortable in trusting your information with. Besides that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.